wind, water, ice, and rock. I'm Rick Sowash, and I don't know if you're ready for this, but the time has come for you to find out about geology on Ohio Rocks. What if I told you that your backyard was once at the bottom of a shallow sea? What if I told you that a glacier, a great wall of ice, a mile thick, came swooping down from the north, scooped out Lake Erie like a giant bulldozer, pushed tons of dirt and rock south, and flattened your neighborhood? I don't care where you live in Ohio. Your home was once very different than it is today. Geology is the study of the earth, and we don't study the flora, and we don't study the fauna. We study rocks, and we look at the history of the Earth through rock formations and also through landforms. A brief overview of Ohio's geology is asking me to put in about 500 million years of history into a, a brief summary. But actually, Ohio's geology can be broken up in two discrete packages. The oldest one is between 550 million years old to about 250 million years old. Now, all of those rocks are older than the dinosaurs. There, there's no dinosaur bones to be found in Ohio because our rocks are too old. And those are called Paleozoic rocks. And they can be limestone, sandstone, shale, and siltstone. And they are distributed throughout the state in discrete layers with the oldest on the bottom and the youngest are on the top. The second major grouping of Ohio geology is our glaciated deposits. And they are not hundreds of millions of years old. They are tens of thousands of years old. Wind and water and ice all shape the Earth's surface. Uh, water is the thing that shapes most of the Earth that we see around us today by carving out the rocks and forming soils. In the past, ice has been a very big shaper of the Earth's surface, particularly for Ohio. And wind is very important in uh, deserts in uh, shaping landforms. A glacier is a large body of ice, tens of feet to maybe thousands of feet thick, that moves fairly slowly over the landscape, carves out the rocks under it, and deposits at its front edge large amounts of material. Glacial Groves is one of the special state parks that we have in Ohio. I think it's the best place to see glacial erosion. It's a place the ice has carved out the limestone bedrock into very deep grooves. So you can see close up the power that the ice has. These grooves are formed not exactly by the ice, but they're carved by pieces of stone the ice has picked up. So it's a little bit as though sandpaper has been rubbed over the earth, but if you can imagine a gigantic piece of sandpaper being pushed very hard. The oldest glaciation that we know about in the state can be about a, a million years old, and then the last glacier left Ohio about 15,000 years ago. And so we have this tremendous gap in time between the glaciated sediments, which are no more than a million years old, to the Paleozoic sediments, which are the hard bedrock, which go up to 250 million years old. Why that large gap in between those two? Well, Ohio was probably above the water level at that time, and we were undergoing erosion. So the dinosaurs actually did walk around in Ohio at one time, but the evidence of them being there has now eroded away. So, What's the geology like where you live? Is it hilly? Is it flat? Any cliffs, creeks, or gorges around your neighborhood? And what do you think is under the ground where you live? Fossils, caverns, underground streams? Could be. Wind, water, and ice have been carving up Ohio for a heck of a long time. Trust me, Ohio is bursting with geology. The geology of Ohio, you can think of it as a cake, a layer cake. It's uh, horizontal layers that are all stacked on top of each other. As you go from the eastern part of the state, it consists mostly of sandstones and clays and shales and coals. And as you progress westward, the bedrock geology, which is what the hard rocks are, consists mostly of limestones and dolomites. And there's some shales and stuff mixed in there too. And then on top of it all, it's like the icing on the cake. 
is our glacial deposits that were, that were brought down by the glaciers. Those consist of clays and silts and a lot of boulders that sometimes you might find in your backyard. Southwest Ohio is startling to people who are not familiar with it by the steepness of the terrain. And we have some very steep gorges, like at Clifton Gorge, and these are remnants of glacial erosion, not from the ice, but from the water. We had a great deal of water flowing out to the ocean from Cincinnati when the ice melted. Hocking Hills is one of my favorite places to see Ohio geology. It exposes cliffs of Pennsylvanian sandstone that have some very nice caves. And there are wonderful walking trails in between. But if you leave your car at the beginning, you can find it to be a very long walk to get back. One of my favorite locations throughout Ohio is Hocking Hills State Park, and specifically Ash Cave. That's my favorite place because it has 70 foot high vertical sandstone walls and at the very end of this canyon is a small waterfall that glistens down over the edge. It's just a wonderful relaxing place to be and it has, because it's bowl shaped, it has very unique acoustics. Well, I love caves and caverns in the state and probably my favorite is Ohio Caverns. It's just a wonderful show cavern located up near Bell Fountain. I find it really interesting to go underground and look at some of the formations, the stalactites and stalagmites, and, and uh, even the bats, I think, are interesting underground. So I enjoy caves and caverns. Our state parks are an excellent place to see Ohio's geology, particularly the Hocking Hills region or areas where there was a lot of rocks exposed. Also, we have excellent natural history museums in the state. For instance, Cincinnati has a wonderful natural history museum, and so does Cleveland. So the residents of the state aren't, aren't very far from Ohio's geology. They can just walk out their back door and observe. Picture Ohio. What does it look like? Do you think it will always look just the way it does right now? Uh, that would be a no. Geology is all about how things change, slow change, like erosion, and rapid change, like that, bam, I'm talking landslides. Landslides in Ohio? Oh yes. The forces of nature are constantly twisting and chewing and crunching up our state. Geology is dynamic, it is constantly moving. Sometimes the changes are very, very slow. Uh, we, we may not see any of these changes in our lifetime, but things are happening. The rivers are transporting sediment. There is soil erosion going on. You may even have landslides in, in particular areas where the, the slopes are unstable. Landslides are a big problem in Ohio, particularly in the southwest portion of the state, where we've got rapid erosion in the glacial era producing steep hillsides in conjunction with very soft rocks and landslide damage in Hamilton County has just been incredible. Matter of fact, Cincinnati is one of the most landslide prone areas in the country. And there's also areas in eastern Ohio and the hilly part of the state where landslides can be a problem. We're actually lucky in Ohio, we've had very few deaths uh, from landslides or rock falls, which is another common occurrence where a rock detaches from a ledge and falls. This usually occurs in the springtime when the soil is wet and becomes heavy and it can no longer stand on a steep hillside so it slides down and so we have a lot of destruction going on along those hillsides people don't build houses on those hillsides because they're not stable in southeastern ohio you can travel up a rural road and commonly find signs of the mass movement of rock down the sides of hills and those are geology changing Geology is the study of the earth around you and it's so interesting. Your whole waking life, you can study geology. All you gotta do is observe and think and ask questions and, and try to find answers. So do you see what I've been telling you here? Geology is happening right outside your window no matter where you live in Ohio. Now get out of here, go on, beat it. Go outside, I mean. Open your eyes and start to see what on earth is going on. I'm Rick Sawash, get used to it. You're going to see me again on Ohio Rocks. <laughs>